What's up guys, Epox here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install FOSE for Fallout 3 and make it so that you can open up the game through Steam and not through the FOSE launcher or whatever you want to call it or whatever it's called. So first of all, to get started, you want to go ahead and go to Documents. And you want to go to My Games and go to Fallout 3. And Or if you have your Fallout Any somewhere else for some reason, find it. Open up your Fallout Any. Go ahead, make it full screen. What you want to do is just click anywhere up at the top area and press Control F. And then you want to type in B, like lowercase b, and then type in Invalidate. And then it should pop up B and validate older files. Normally on your screen it will show this as a zero. What you want to do is you want to change this to a one. And then after you've changed it to a one, just click save. And you want to go exit. And now you're done with that. So you can just go ahead and close that or minimize it, whatever. And now, next what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to your FOSE file or whatever. I'll just go ahead and delete this, start it with you guys. And you want to extract your FOSE, open up your FOSE file. The download link for FOSE will also be down in the description below, just in case you guys don't know it. And also, you want to open up your Fallout 3 directory. I'll go ahead and delete all the FOSE, just, just so you guys know that this is legit. So you can delete all that, or... Don't actually delete all that. Uh, okay, so I deleted all that. You don't need to copy the SRC. That's just if you're like a modder. You don't really need to copy that. But if you are a modder, then you should obviously know how to do this anyways. But anyways, you want to control copy all this, and then you want to paste it here. If you don't know how to paste it, it's control V and control C to copy. And anyways, if you don't know that, you should search up some stuff on computers. But anyways... What you want to do next is you want to go over to here. Now normally you would start it up with the FOSE loader, but you're not going to do that. You're going to go ahead and right click on this, the Fallout 3 launcher or Fallout launcher. And you want to go to properties. And then after that you want to go ahead and just add a little thing, something like, um, type in like backup or something. Just go ahead and type in backup. And then that's the backup launcher, so you want to make sure you always have that. Don't delete that. Just in case if something goes wrong, you can go ahead and get back to this and just remove that extension, and then you can use this launcher again. But anyways, after you've done that, you want to go down to the FOSE underscore launcher, and you want to right-click properties on that. And you want to go ahead and change this to Fallout Launcher. And click OK. Now... I always have this issue where if I start up the or the FOSE launcher or whatever it's called, this is normally the FOSE. Normally when I start this up, it will tell me that I have to run it as administrator or else all the DLLs won't work and the FOSE won't work. So anyways, if you have that issue, you can right click on here, go to properties and you go to compatibility and go to the very bottom where it says privilege level and check the run this program as an administrator and just click apply and click OK that will run that launcher as administrator and then it will work perfectly fine so anyways this should be good now let's just go ahead and check it out so minimize that we can go ahead and go to our steam and we are gonna click play alright we are loading up follow 3 and here we go. So just to make sure it is working, you want to click the little squiggly line that's below the escape button. Or if you live in a different country, it's going to be something else. I don't know what it is on your keyboard if you live in a different country. You can just search that up on Google. But anyways, you want to click the thing to open up the console. And what you want to do is you want to type in get FOSE version. And you want to make sure you have a capital G and capital FOSE and capital V. Don't know if you really need that, but I do it all the time just in case. And bam, FOSE version 1. That means it's working. And hope you guys enjoyed. That's it for this video. If this tutorial helped you guys out, please click that like button down below. Share the video. Just get it out there. And also, guys, don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming.